Welcome back. Today is the money day. So I should be selling five of them. That's one, two, three, four, five. So now we just have the two. Money. Level nine and getting better. Treat yourself to some new items for your garden from Lottie's new stock. Seed offs will have some more seeds for you too. In two levels time, your garden will grow larger. Well, this is just an apple tree. Full on. Congratulations. Oh, trees grow huge. The trick stick. Excuse me. Use it to train pinatas to entertain you with amazing feats. Okay. Press Y to find out the details. My tip is to feed a sparrowment with a daisy seed. While it's performing, tap it with the trick stick to teach it the trick. Now you won't need to waste any more daisy seeds. Strange. That's just a pinata stick, basically. Okay. Weird. You know, experiment. Hold up. Oh, a daisy seed? I think that makes most, most sense, feeding a Virga seed. Uh, why not, I guess? Stick. Look at that stick. Alright, again, I, I, I'm used to taking the long road to buying these things. Here to buy or sell. It doesn't matter. Also, I want to look at what we have here anyways. Event. What's, what's, for, what's the deal with these? I never thought that flower carving looked very good either. More produce? Wool. Is there anything for you to do with wool? Is there anything you can do with wool? Oh, I think... Was there a... Pinata had to eat wool at some point? And jeez, that was expensive. I thought wool was mostly just one of those things that you made just with the express purpose of selling it because there wasn't much of any point otherwise. More fertilizer? We have not started fertilizing things yet. We actually have money. Look at that. Um, seeds. Just to try this out. An excellent. That's not gonna look like anything anywhere except for inside this pinata's stomach. He said, "Definitely go away. Definitely go away. Go away." They did? Uh, I, guess, I guess that's the trick. Okay. I mean, I don't need yet more things to spend time feeding pinatas random things in search of, but okay. It's not a very green apple tree, but it was a little dry when it grew. Um, I was saying, uh, now we have money, I don't really know what else to do. Off the top of my head. I can identify every kind of seed with my eyes closed, just by touching them with my nose. Oh, look at that mouth on that guy on the left there. That's not a big deal, it's okay. I'll get the seed though. That's a pumpkin, I believe. See us? I'm aware of that, thank you. Oh! Hold on. Hey, I think I got something you like. Why well, can't I put this in? I can't, I can't, I can't put this thing down. I can't put it down! See us, don't get in the way! I don't know 
why Cedos wants to live in a swamp. It's always damp and gloomy. Interesting. Eat the thing. That's the, that's the seed we need. Okay. Yeah, and, and now eat now eat that thing. What are you doing? Eat. No, eat. What are you doing? What are you running for? Eat. Fantastic. Uh huh. Can I just break the thing immediately? No. So it'll also let us add a block to our tower of sour. Well, that's another gate that we'll have to break, pay somebody to... <laughs> he saw the block appear just now. It's another gate that I can see that we'll have to pay Mr. Builder Dude to, to destroy. Oh yeah, you see at the top of the screen. See? He's pointing at it for us. Congratulations! You have been awarded the first part of the Tower of Sour. Yep. You won this award for turning a sour pest into one of your residents. No. You're not, you're not gonna finish? Okay. Anyways, yes. Tower of Sour. So now I can also... Acknowledging this instead of that thing. <laughs> Another one appears immediately. Jeez. Yes, the Tower of Sour. I think you've already read the description on this. Or the base. Yeah, so you can turn these on and off so that the... the game, is game really... Does game really explain how these guys work? Also, just not paying attention to what old dude whose name I can re never remember just said. Anyways, if if this jelly bean part of the tower or totem is activated, that means sour jelly bean sour jelly beans will never appear. Run, go. All right. Um. What now? That's the fun part. I don't really like keep a house for these guys. I don't really care about them honestly. They're not the most interesting to me. I did say though I'd. Develop a label. Randomize. Fantastic. Yeah, it seems like it's mostly the same thing as the original. And it's not that exciting, frankly, but... Also, wish I can move faster! You need to move, you need to tap the, you can't hold the stick in one direction, you have to keep tapping it. Okay, well that's not very interesting. You can't just, oh, here you go. Here you can hold the direction. And that. It's actually a bit of curiosity. Here's so I can make something vaguely like my, uh, my logo. That'd be kind of amusing. Okay, so if you hold a direction the whole time, you can do that. Now, I don't know which one's really better or worse. Actually, um, really hard to navigate this. And then the actual logo on it. So I imagine you can lock Dirt Miata's heads on here. Ah, uh, can I just get a moon instead of a, a sun? Actually, the sun works too. But I imagine that thing they got a Master Romance board. Award board. Imagine that I can now... Oh, there's a moon. I can now, um... Use their head on here. It's a bunch of random stuff. Oh, you know what? That's perfect, actually. In fact, I could even do something like... A sign of shaping one. Oh, look at that. Actually works really well. The Stardos, for some reason. 
other random characters. Yeah, so now we have these guys. Interesting. Okay, so which one, I want, which do I want to use here? The other things are just perfect circles. It's a little boring, admittedly. I like, that's probably the best. I always could have a misshapen circle slightly. All these little faces over here. Yeah, that's not as good though, I don't think. I'm actually pretty satisfied with that. I didn't think I'd be able to do that. See? That actually fits. That's cool. Alright. Now what to do? So you got a shelly bean. It's nice. I did want garlic butter. <laughs> okay. That's a new item. That is also fantastically morbid. This series has such a strange sense of humor. I've never actually eaten Esmergo. Show house on its back. And it's another house to sleep in at night. Look, have you seen the Galagugu? I don't think you've seen anything about security yet. Eating weed seeds. Oh yeah, these guys can eat seeds for weeds. They actually kind of have to almost. Well, the flowers at least. They don't get sick or anything, I think. Or something weird like that. Anyways, your house, I think, doesn't really actually make anybody's life any better. Yeah. I'd rather have some other... something else here. Some species I actually like more. <laughs> I should acknowledge these challenges, though. Uh, well, yeah. Oh. Why do I have to do that? That's interesting. Alright, Langston. Uh, does it say what the... a worm? Mouse mellow. Experiment. I can do all those. Is there, can is there an encyclopedia entry for Candiosity? Yeah, look at that. That's part of the tutorial section I never actually read. Yeah, I remember desperately trying to like buy them clothes and whatnot when they were really sad enough to kind of want to leave. Anyways, uh, so. World challenge. Yes, experiment. It is just very happy. Um, what makes this? Well, it would be say what makes experiment happy. Well, I prefer not to spend a ton of money in doing so, though. Uh, you I actually I don't plan to have you eaten or anything. Cause I could name you for the one-time bonus. I think it's only a one-time thing. So I'm getting happy because you named them. It's not a big deal. I don't think I even can clothe my... clothe these guys yet. I think eating a seed would make them happy. You could see earlier that, um... Romance also makes them happy. In fact, I kind of want to breed these guys anyways. So how about... We do that. That should also help. If I actually told them to eat a whirl, that might also make them happier, but... I don't know if that's really what I'm looking to do right now. It's kind of annoying to have to do a lot of stuff to make them happy. Um, could just buy them some happy candy, too. I don't know how... Happy one individual candy makes them though. Come here, come I don't think it's a ton, but man, that costs a lot. There's At which point, like, I'm spending so much to make them happy that it doesn't quite seem worthwhile. Why do I just get dazed when they. I just need a, a house. I think I'll just feed them another seed. 
Oh. There you go. T takes a to load, eh? Team other seed, I think that should make him happy. Okay. Come on. Uh, do I just have to say... Okay. I just have to s select someone in general. I'll actually have to go to the challenge and say I'm packing somebody for this challenge. Oh, come on. Spark 8. Pack item. That's a very nice thing to call them. Party award. Oh yeah, I forgot that's also a... I think. Symphony Auditor France. Oh, you guys, why do you appear? Well, yeah, they, they do have an appearing at a video, too, in the original, don't they? I think. And these are people you hire. Hi there, oh, do they talk in the original? No. I really okay, don't need your services. Do they say something like that in the original? Ah! Oh, this is the guy who lets you hire people. Which I never did. The only thing that was worth doing was actually the mine. It was just only because there was stuff you could only get with the mine. Hey, Milky! How are you? Milky? My inn's just the right place to come find a worker or two. And now they've started turning up, you should come pay me a visit. Come for a worker, stay for the milk. The mine... Level ah! 10. Congratulations. When you get a chance... Pop into Lottie's shop and pick up a watering can upgrade. Another? I she forgot there was one to start with. I, I forgot to get that. And a hollow log for sale. Oh man, a log. If you're still having trouble with those sour shelly beans, I'm not. Lottie has something for that now too. CDOS will probably have something new for you as well. Your next level up will make the garden bigger. <laughs> oh my god. Hey Gretchen. <laughs> um Okay, oh, they're supposed to be there. It looked like the... the... What, what's that one called? Hi there. Something pigeon -esque? I'm a hunter. And yeah, so I'm I. Get any pinata for you. I need to know you're up to the job of looking after them, so I won't fetch pinatas unless you've had one as a resident. If you got all that, then we're good. Well, sweet, but like, I can actually catch them myself now. Put a new way to my job. But, um, you could also get some stuff through the mine that you could only get. Morning. Can I interest you in something or, seedy? you could only get through the mine, uh, but other I things you could get earlier like than that. normal through the mine. Is that something about the, uh, sour shelly beans? Yeah. So, in the first game, too, you can actually buy, uh, blocks for your Tower of Sour once you reach a certain level. If you hadn't just tamed on yourself already. Sweet block. A nice looking fence. Brown. Amazing. It's got the default color, isn't it? Riveted panels. What's with these things? I'm going to have to make it like a really mechanical one. Maybe if I make like a farm in this game, I should make it more like a mechanical like looking farm. Like an industrial farm. In the first game, I made a more, like, idyllic farm. I'm trying to think of, like, new ways of doing things in this game. Doing them different than I did in the first game. Last one. I don't remember the, what these w did. I kind of want to acknowledge the existence of the gold watering can. Granted, the design and model are probably the same as in the first game. I want to see... Does the game... That would be a waste of money to... Buy one and the other. Does the game tell you what these are, though? Tools. Watering can. You still get just you still unlock the description if you buy them, right? I think it'll. Oops. I think it'll tell you what each one actually does. The only thing is, I'm just curious what they actually do. I, I can't remember. They probably do the same thing as in the original game. I don't remember what they do though. I don't remember what the difference is between the different watering cans, except I'm for the final one. <laughs> Thanks. I wish I could say I replace all faulty items, but I kind of don't. Why did somebody on the left laugh? I'll 
be counting my coins. Don't worry about disturbing me if you want to spend some more. That was maybe a little stupid because I was basically all my money, but... Ah! No! Now tell me. What? what you... Yeah, see, here we go. Now they're in here. Oh, yeah! I This never happened to me. In the original, um, I think it was, if you looked at the cursor, your, your little circular cursor that's like a circle made of triangles, if you did the long pour with the tin watering can, I think what would happen was the the triangles on it would actually bit by bit like darken or something like that like it was it was a meter that could actually be emptied and then you didn't have any water you had to wait a bit before you could water anymore i never use enough water for that to matter so yeah gold water can would be useless for me i think this one oh this one just never runs out i always liked how this one looked yeah so see now the now the, the circles the, the triangles always stay fully lit. I always thought this particular water can looked really good though but I never really used in the original game so I always can use this one for a little bit this time. Alright it is time though to go for this episode so I'll think a bit about on what to do next and how to what to do about my newfound poverty I want these guys to appear. Oh, in fact, since I already have two, well, and they're not going to appear anyways, but whatever. I'm just not interested in them, so why not ban them? So, two more pinatas will not appear in the wild if you already have two residents in your garden of that species. But in this case, I might as well just add them to the ban list anyways. I don't know if that's per garden or if it's, like, universal, but either way, uh, so far I don't have a reason to actually do anything with them anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I can always unban them if I want. <coughs> yeah, I'll try to figure out what to do next time. Bye, everyone.